So bonjour everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about Bluetooth and our Google Home and Google Home Mini. We've been able to use them with Bluetooth speakers for some time and that's been a really good feature. But you guys have asked me many, many times as why can't we connect them to other Bluetooth speakers to augment the audio quality or capabilities that we have? Well, today we finally have that feature. I'm going to walk you through the process and how to be able to turn this on and pair your Google Home or Google Home Mini with an external speaker. This is TK. Let's check it out. For today's demo, I'm going to be walking you through the process on how to pair either a Google Home Mini or a Google Home to an external audio uh, device, specifically a Bluetooth device. We can already cast to a Chromecast audio device, so if you have a Chromecast audio on your network, you just cast to it and it works the same way. You can even cast it directly from your phone. But now that we have the capability of using the Bluetooth radios that were built into the Google Home and the Google Home Mini, to be able to use them as specifically Bluetooth speakers. So we've been able to do that and I'll walk you through that process as well. We can now use it the other way around as in sending signal from the actual unit to an external Bluetooth speaker. It specifically would be something like this. This is the, the Voombox party from the Voom. It's definitely a much bigger speaker, way more capable than what we can get audio pro obviously out of the Google Home Mini. Uh, may may not be as comparable as the Google Home as this one can generate really good audio with the three speakers that we have at the bottom. Uh, but let's say we wanna do that with the Google Home Mini, which I think is the most best use case scenario. I'm gonna walk you through do, how to do that and basically how to get the better audio out of your Google Home Mini. So first thing we wanna do is open up the Google Home application and go ahead and connect to your devices. You'll notice that you have different ones. So this is my TK Ultra. It's casting some of my pictures from last year's vacation. And and then of course you can go through and find all your different speakers that you have and the ones that you have in the house. The first thing we want to do obviously is the ability to turn on the functionality. So what we do is find the speaker that you want to connect to. If you want to be able to use this guy as a Bluetooth speaker, you'd go into paired Bluetooth devices and then say enable pairing mode. It will turn it on within the device and then on your device itself, you would go into the Bluetooth test section and say scan and you'll say right there, kitchen speaker, it turns itself on and it gives itself that name. Now the, uh, the Voombox party obviously is that Bluetooth speaker that I was showing you guys but the main benefit is if I connect to it here I'll be able to cast direct music from my phone directly to it as a Bluetooth speaker and that works fine and if that's something you want to do that's exactly how you would do it add it connect it and play music and it will work the way you want it the new feature that we have is under default music speaker you will notice by default the master bedroom speaker is the name of it and that means it'll play music directly on itself but now we have the functionality of adding a paired Bluetooth speaker to it. Uh, and what we do here is essentially use the built-in Bluetooth functionality to cast from this Google Home, or uh, the Google Home Mini or the Google Home directly into a Bluetooth speaker. So the main thing you would do is on your Bluetooth speaker, turn on the power and wait till you get the sync button. Uh, and for me on this speaker, I have a blinking blue light. You'll notice right there, it's a little faded, uh, but that means now that this speaker is ready to be paired. I'll go ahead and hit the pair Bluetooth speaker. I'll allow it to scan. And once it's done scanning, it should be able to show me that the Voombox Party, and right there, Voombox Party, is available. I'll click it. And what we're doing here is when it's, <laughs> given a second, it has connected. Voombox Party is set as the default player. So now what we'll have is two options. You can either have itself as the master player, so it means if I ask it to play music, it'll play music directly on itself. Or, because I set the Voombox Party as the primary player just for this device, it will always cast music to it by default. So what we've done right now is we've connected these two guys together. And for all intents and purposes, this is replacing the built-in speaker within our Google Home. Meaning, whenever I cast things to it or ask it to do things, it will always play music here. I can also control the, uh, the volume. So what we're going to do here at this point is just ask it to play some music directly from YouTube or from Google Play. To, uh, and it should automatically play it on the speaker as I've set this as the default player. Hey Google. Play some NCS music. I can't control volume here, but I can pause and I can play, but I can also use the volume control on the Google Home Mini.
and of course I can start and stop the music from the Google Home Mini or using the control buttons on the top. So as you see, it's very, very nice and very simple to set up. Um, you can set it up to be a default by automatically having it as the default speaker. So it means if this is available and it is going to connect, you'll automatically play music to it and you can switch back and forth if you'd like. Um, all your communication, all your audio uh, conversations are still going to go through the Home Mini or the Home itself. And the reason behind that is that that's where the microphone setup is, uh, is going. The volume control will work over Bluetooth as a normal Bluetooth speaker. So the feature is being rolled out right now. So if you don't see it on your device, give it some time and it will start showing up. It'll be under that default player. Uh, most of my Google Home Minis in the house did not have this feature. Actually, only one of them did. The one at the beginning video, as I showed you guys, the red one, did not have that feature and it was actually slightly intermittent. So keep in mind, uh, it will be under the default player. When you pair it, it'll be under the Bluetooth list to be able to basically either unpair it or forget the device. Or again, as I showed you there, you can also enable the Bluetooth functionality to cast music to the Google Home Mini or the Google Home to use them as Bluetooth speakers. But now, if you have a Mini and you're not happy with the audio on there, just hook up your Bluetooth speaker that can generate better audio and you're gonna get a much better experience and it's not gonna cost you anything else. You already have the Bluetooth speaker and you have the Mini. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is a feature that I've been asked about many, many times over in all my other videos I've done for the Google products. And I'm finally happy to see that it's rolling out. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next video.